Okay, gang, this time we are going to prepare our Word document to receive our table and our graph once we've finished our graph. <clears throat> and what we want to do here is um, turn it landscape, but we only want one page landscape so that it can stretch the table and the graph across two pages. Um, but we want to keep the rest of the pages portrait. Now, how do we do that? Well, one way that we can do that Let's put in a return here and put in our prediction. And I'm going to give that a heading one style. Remember, we can use these styles on the top here to give us different styles. Um, and we're going to make heading one style for results as well. Table is going to be heading two style. And graph is going to be heading two style. So <clears throat> the first thing I want to do is to put in a break. And, but I want a particular type of break. I want to move the results to a separate page. And you can see here that this is landscape. If I take down the size of the page, you can see the page here is um, portrait at the moment, sorry. But I want to put the results on a separate page. So if I go to page layout tab on here, I can see under the page layout tab on here, under the page setup section, we've got something called breaks. I'm going to click on the downwards arrow and I want to scroll down so I get to section breaks next page. And I'm going to click on that. Okay. And what it's done is that it has moved, you can see here, it's moved the results to a separate page. Um, and I can see that it's going to have a section break. If I go back to the home ribbon, and click on this button here, which shows or hides all the different hidden formatting symbols. Click on that, and then this appears here. This says section break next page, and I'll scroll down till I get to here, and the results is on a separate section. And similarly as well, I want to do the same here. I want a section break here as well. So I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to go to page layout. I'm going to go to breaks and I'm going to put in a next page section break. And scrolling back up again, you can see that this has a section break here. So clicking inside, I am now in between this section. Okay, you can see up here that I have a section break here and I have a section break down here and uh, my cursor is flashing in the middle of those two lines and that's what we want. We want it in the middle of those two lines because now the magic happens. We go to orientation and at the moment it's on portrait. That section is on portrait but now if I click on landscape, et voila, you can see the bottom page and the top page are portrait and the middle page is landscape. And now we're prepared, we're ready to stick our results, our table and our graph into that section so we don't have to squeeze up the table and the graph.